I'm Haley, and today we have a beautiful BMW for everyone. But before we get into this, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, make sure and click the bell to turn the notifications on, and check out our website for all of our current inventory and more information on this beautiful BMW, autohousenaples.com. All right, so what we have today is a really low mile, great example of the 2003 BMW 530i. This is the E39. It's the fourth generation of the 5 Series, and it's in really great condition. It's got these beautiful chrome wheels on it and a lot of really great features. Up front, it is um, after the 2000s facelift, so you're going to have... particular for a 2003 are so crystal clear there's no fogging or hazing this one's been always maintained really well the front bumper is in really great shape as well really great condition so this car is finished in a beautiful color I really like this it's Oxford green metallic it's so beautiful it's this perfect color of standing out a little bit but not being too obnoxious or anything like that. The metallic, it just glistens. It's a beautiful color. I, when I saw this car, I, I really liked this one. I thought the color was super neat. Um, down here, you do have these chrome wheels. I think they look really nice. They're the kind of the standard wheels that go with the, uh, the 5 Series, but I like these chrome ones better. These wheels are 225-55R16s. Goodyear tires in really great shape. I love on the side of the car, you've got quite a few really kind of subtle lines, but they do add a lot of shape to the car. You've got the matching side mirror in the same body color. The green just looks really neat. It's not like too bright, but it is enough that it kind of does stand out. And then on the back here, you're going to have 225 55R16s. And again, the chrome wheels, the BMW emblem, it just looks real classy. The, um, the brakes were upgraded in 2001, and you're also going to get automatic headlights. Back here, the taillights were revised with LED running lights. In the back here, again, crystal clear. They're in really great shape as well. Let's pop the trunk. What I love about these 5 Series cars is they have so much space. It is such a large trunk with just a lot of storage and space. The carpeting in this one's in really great shape. Underneath here, you're going to have your spare tire. That's in good shape, but overall it's in really great condition. And I know what you're wondering, since it's such a big trunk, how many golf bags can you fit in here? And BMW very you know, conveniently lays that out for you, how you can fit three golf bags in here. So the answer is three. You can fit three golf bags back here. I don't know. I think it's just so funny. Like it's kind of quirky that they keep that on there, but that's neat. And then the back seat too, we can check out the back seat or the hood, the hood. Check out the engine. I'm getting ahead of myself. So this one's going to have just like a little latch right here in the kidney grill and you're going to pull that up. I think I hit the lock button. Oh, the alarm. Whoops. All right. So underneath the engine here for a 2003, super, super clean. It's nearly immaculate underneath the hood. This is going to be a three liter inline six, 225 horsepower. 0 to 60 in 7 seconds, top speed of 128. Those aren't the exciting part about this car. The exciting part is how comfortable and smooth the drive is. It's a, a quick car, but it's not like, you know, a sports car by any means. But it's it's so fun to drive. They're comfortable. I really like these cars. You can't go wrong. Super clean. This is a great example of one. Very well maintained, especially even underneath the hood. So let's check out the interior. Hopefully we don't set off any more alarms. Okay, so back seat, great space back here as well. 
pop back here. You've got good leg room and everything like that. Your door panel's nice. You've got a little ashtray if you want to smoke some, I guess. Got a little storage right there, power window, everything like that. But the interior is really nice. This is a sand interior, a lot of space. You've got this really plush and comfortable armrest. Really like that. That's really nice. But you've got a lot of space back here for your passengers. Um, decent leg room. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty simple uh, back seat. And then up here in front, if you want to take a peek, it's very clean in here. Up on the door panel, you've got your memory settings for your driver. That's really nice. You've got your power windows, all of that good stuff. You've got a lot of storage too in the door panel. It's in really great shape. I like over, you've got on the door sills, you've got BMW, that's in really great shape. And then the seats as well, really great condition. They're not worn or anything like that. They're in fairly good shape. So, let's get it started up. All right, so inside here, you've got this multi-function steering wheel, firstly, and I really like this. You've got all your volume settings, and then you've got your um, cruise control, if you wanna set that up. It's a very simple steering wheel. It looks really nice, just a simple black. And then you've got this instrument cluster. Again, just this simple, easy to use. This one has the uh, trip on it, so you can, you know, use that if you want. You've got your outdoor temperature. This particular car has 55,841 miles on it. Um, everything's just in really good shape though. It's Nothing's worn off or anything like that, especially the, um, all the numbers down there, the orange digital numbers. Like sometimes it can be a little worn and like the, it's kind of like warped a little bit, but this one's in really great shape. You can see all of that. And then inside, you've got kind of like this two-tone interior. I like the beige, but you got complemented with kind of more of a, a darker tan up above. And then you've got your wood trim. Right here, you've got the hidden CD player, so it's kind of nice. You can hide it if you don't need it. And then right here, you're going to have your radio and all your different CD settings and all of that good stuff. Down here, you've got a really simple temperature settings you've got dual temperature in here which is really nice max ac i really like that one that's a that's a good one down here in florida and then you got heated seats maybe a cold day in florida maybe not and then you do have these little pop out cup holders which are nice just pop out and then this kind of space is nice if you want to put anything there you've got your 12 volt for charging and then the shift knob, I really like it's got wood and leather on it. It's in really great shape. So you have all your different shifting. You can do manual shifting if you want to do that. I know they changed that. It used to be shifting up was going up and then they shifted to sh shifting down was going up. Kind of interesting to change that. But And then they got the power locks right here. You've got your little ashtray if you want to use that. Oh. What am I doing wrong? Oh, there we go. User error. And you've got some extra space right here. I really like this little armrest because you can shift it out if you want it, like if it's gonna be more versatile or you can push it back if you want it there. So it kind of adjusts to wherever you want it. And then you also have this glove box, good space in there. And then up above, one thing that's really nice is the headliner is in really great shape. You've also got this sunroof. Really nice if you wanna let some extra light in, but the headliner is in really great shape. I keep forgetting this is a 2003. It's in such great condition. And you've got your um, garage door settings. You got your sunroof settings right there. All of that good stuff, your lights. Turn those on. Those all work good, sun visors. Yeah, everything's in really great shape. So let's go for a test drive, safety first.
Rentals.com and let us help you drive your dream.